Uh, uh, Len McCluskey, Unite Moving Composite 14. Sisters and brothers, it was Tony Blair who boasted that Britain had the most restrictive anti-union laws in Europe. But there is no situation so bad that the Tories can't make it worse. The laws drawn up by Thatcher, left in place by New Labour, have been made even more onerous by this government. It seems that the Tories only know one answer to every problem. Attract trade unions and attack workers' rights. The greedy bankers crash the economy, blame the unions. Rich men's money corrupts our politics, attack the unions. Living standards are sliding, let's have a go at the unions. I'm sure that if we had more floods in the winter or England failed to qualify for the World Cup, then a Tory minister will blame the unions. But there is a method in the Tory madness. They know that their system is in trouble. They know that their divine right to rule is being questioned across society. And they know that trade unions are at the heart of any alternative. In the last two years, we've got hundreds of thousands of people onto the streets of London to march for an alternative. We've taken mass strike action over public sector pensions and we are winning that work as well. I'm delighted, Chair, to tell Congress that just last week United's broken blacklisting at Crossrail and opened up that major construction project to trade union organisations. And we've won trade union recognition for mixed fleet cabin crew at British Airways, the issue that caused a long and bitter dispute there. Real victories for fighting back trade unionism despite the bleak economic circumstances. It's good news for working people, and I can tell you this, it scares the hell out of the Tories. Their attacks are the start of the Tory party election strategy for 2015. Don't talk about our too little, too late economic recovery. Don't mention the falling living standards. Ignore the disaster that Osborne's Wonganomics has caused in communities up and down the country. Instead, let's attack the union threat. Linton Crosby, their very own bush kangaroo, will peddle it over and over again. And you know what, conference? We are a threat. A threat to food bank bedroom tax zero hours Britain, the society that this government has created for us. So there's nothing for us to be defensive about. All evidence shows that stronger trade unions are good for society as a whole. A more equal society, with wealth and power dispersed rather than hoarded by the elite, is a happier society. That's why trade union freedom is not just a private concern of those of us here in Bournemouth this week. It matters to everyone. Shackled unions mean a crippled society. Stronger unions mean a decent country for everyone to live in. We need to do more as a movement to change the terms of the debate on this issue, to challenge the establishment as to why British workers are treated so much worse than those elsewhere in Europe. We need to expose the myth that the flexible labour market brings benefits to anyone other than bad employers. We need to trumpet the benefits of collective bargaining and work to extend its reach and to develop a real package of reforms that will liberate unions from the worst of the laws and restore justice in the workplace. A package that we can then expect Labour and government to deliver on. This composite sets out the problem and spells out our solution and it will gain support. People now know that union bashing hasn't created a single job. Instead it has led to poverty, inequality and ruthless exploitation. We should say to every working man and woman, to every young person desperate for a job and a start in life, for all those who feel afraid in the workplace, trade union freedom is your freedom. We are not a special interest. We are your interest. Help us cast off 
the shackles of the past and work together for a further Britain. I move.